Hey, you fucks. Thanks for, you know, checking out the videos, showing a little bit of support. How about you take it to the next level and uh, show us some love over there on Patreon, huh? 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 Okay. Okay, okay. Check, check, check. Check, 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 check. Okay, good. Okay. <clears throat> Clap, 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 clap. This is the, I guess this will be the rant on Tokyo Vice. Tokyo Vice. What I like, what I didn't like about it. All the beans, all the beans in the can. This is for all the beans. Those are for all the beans. Ugh. Greg, he reads, he's got what everyone needs. Oh shit, it's a neutral. <laughs> Okay, let's do it. Yo, 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 yo. It's a good boy, Papa Tico, coming to you live from Japan land. Welcome back to another Tico Rants, everybody. It is a nice, beautiful summer, nice, cool summer night here, here in Tokyo, Japan, and I am having a ball. I just went out and filmed some stuff with my buddy Jim. And, like, that's the, that's the fun thing, you know? Like, when you go out and, like, quote, unquote, uh, See, like, that's a bar that I've never been to. But I just, I don't know, I just didn't feel it, you know? Didn't feel going to that bar. Um, but yeah, you know, it's nice when you, like, go out and quote-unquote, like, collab, or just, like, this is, like, the nice thing about, like, when you're doing YouTube, and then you have, like, friends that do YouTube, because it's, like, you get to both go film something, even if it's not the same thing that you both want to film, like, you can still go and have fun, and it's, a, it's like a productive excuse to hang out, right? Like, it's a productive excuse just to be like, hey, uh, we should go do something. Well, you know, we should do something that at least, like, we're making something or whatever. Oh, I got, I got it. Let's just, like, go film us playing video games or some shit in Akihabara. I was like, oh, yeah, that sounds like a plan. That sounds good. Let's do that one. I'm like, hell yeah. Uh, but today, I need to make a bike rant still. I went out and did a nice walk and a talk video with my buddy, uh, Jim, but I still need to make a talk video, uh, or a motorcycle video, and so I'm like, okay, God, there's so many fucking people, they're so retarded and jumping in the street, oh, man, I remember I saw this video of this guy, and he's like, he's like a delivery guy, he's obviously going too fast, and he's like checking his phone or something, so he's half in the wrong for this. He's not paying attention, but this woman just jumps out in the middle of the fucking street. Like, it's like, it's totally, like, she didn't check. She just started going out, you know? And uh, the guy slams on his brakes, and obviously he's like a skinny little Asian dude, so he just, like, fishtails out of control. And then, uh, yeah, like, he just fishtails out of control. And then he, uh, he eats it, you know? Look at that. Look at that, by the way. That, see, that's the thing that's, like... You know, people say, like, they want to give shit to, like, women for being gaijin hunters or whatever here, you know? and the, Or they want to give guys shit for being sex pats here or whatever. Like, oh, you only come to Asia to get with women. And it's like, look at that guy. That guy was a good, tall, like, a good-looking, tall dude. Like, tall white guy. And he was with, like, an average-looking woman. I bet she's the nicest person ever. Probably volunteers at churches or something. Like, she's probably a very nice lady. But... Like, that guy could obviously be dating a hotter chick. And, uh, but, like, she, she speaks English. So it's like, you know, like, she didn't even need to do the sex pad thing. She, like, you know, she came here, she found a guy, and, like, uh, you, like the Western dudes are so used to just being around all these fat whales, or and if, even if they're not fat whales, they're all entitled and shit. Uh, you know, uh, from what I've heard. I mean, from what I've heard, you know? Um, but, uh... Yeah, so it's like the first Asian woman that they talk to that they're probably not used to being around all these Asian women. They're like, oh, she's cute. She's not 400 pounds. <laughs> okay, let's do it. 
Anyway, this is, we're supposed to be talking about Tokyo Vice. This is a rant talking about Tokyo Vice, not just just being angry at Western whammons. Um, yeah, normally I go over that way uh, to go home from uh, from Akihabara, but today I got to ride around for at least an hour. You know, even though like I've already I'm already done filming. You know, I did my thing that I needed to do, but I still need to make a rant. So I'm like, okay, we'll go around Tokyo for an hour on the bike and talk about. Tokyo Vice, the new TV show, Tokyo Vice, even though it's on season two right now, and I haven't watched season two yet, but uh, I'll probably, I'll make sure to watch it before this so I don't get any spoilers, but it's not that I care about spoilers. I don't really give a shit about the storyline really, but uh, I don't know. It's just one of those things where I'm like, eh, I want to go in fresh, you know? I didn't want to go in fresh. This is one thing that's always cool. It's like you could be on the road and you're just looking, and you know, like look into somebody's office. And I'm like, you have a great view, but you're just stuck in an office, man. Like, ah, uh, like I don't, I don't make money. I don't make a lot of money. And like, I was talking to my buddy Jim, and I'm like, we're so lucky to live in the era that we live in right now, where we can like have these hobbies, where if we wanted to make money from them, like we could, you know. Like, I don't make any money from YouTube. Oh yeah, but by the way, while I'm on that topic, uh, hey guys, uh, I don't really make any money from YouTube, and uh, this. This uh, fucking this YouTube channel is 100% fan funded. So if you guys like this stuff and you want to see more of it, you know what to do. You can go over to Patreon.com/TikoSam. The link is down below, and you can sign up for my Patreon. Honestly, even a dollar. I mean, like, feel free to spend as much money as you want. The more, the better. But even a dollar goes. It helps, guys. It really does. So uh, thank you guys for supporting me over there. And if you guys are one of those people that don't like. You don't like fucking Patreon for whatever reason. You can still uh, you can still throw a super chat my way during the live streams or during the premieres of this, uh, or afterwards if you like the video, you can leave a comment, uh, a super comment or a super thanks or whatever it's called in the comment section to show your love. And look, even if you don't have any cash to throw at me, that's fine. But you can do me a favor by smashing that like button and uh, and making sure to leave a comment and a question. And question of the day is, what did you guys think of Tokyo Vice? You know, did you like it? Did you think it wasn't that good? Like, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, did any of you assholes actually read the book or is it only me? Did Was I the only one who read the book here? Let me know in those comments down below. And my hair is, oh, my hair is on my arm and it's tickling me, oh God. Uh, but yeah, like I read Tokyo Vice a long time ago. I still have it on my bookshelf uh, and um, yeah, you know, like, at the time, like, there were so many people that were like, eh. Uh, but we'll get into that. But anyway, guys, I just want to say again, yeah, thank you for everybody. The self-promo shit's done. Let's get into the topic. I want to talk more about, like, the book, the guy behind the book, just some thoughts on it. And, uh, and yeah, you know, there we go. Look at this. This is a Mario Kart, guys. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi. How you doing? How you doing? not allowed to do Mario Kart. I guess you can't put Mario Kart. Why is it? Nintendo's like, don't you steal our IPs that everybody loves and you can pay us royalties. Don't you dare do that. You better not do it. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're clinging on to it like a, like a scarcity mindset ex-girlfriend. You know, no, he's mine. No one gets to touch him except me. Now we're in Ginza. I'm in Delaware. Can I scooch in here? Can I scooch in? Sorry, let me scooch in here. Hey, thank you. Thank you for your, thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. <laughs> like, I love it how it's like, like you know, I, I always find it so funny when like these bikers are riding around and then they're like, what, bro? What? To the guy in a car. And I'm like, God, you know, let's do the math here. More metal plus not as much metal. You know, <laughs> like, where do you get the balls? Look at this guy. What is he doing? Elite taxi... Elite taxi holding motherfucker, look at you. Just because you think you're in Ginza, you think you're better than me? If you don't know, I'm the guy who has the hairband on his arm, okay? That's how precious I am. It's rose colored. Because I'm in touch with my feminine side, etc. Um, but anyway, yeah, guys. So, uh, what the hell is this building? Holy shit. I haven't been down this road in forever. What is this? Like some North Korea stuff. They're building a building. <laughs> Whoever saw that fucking sentence coming, right? Um... But anyway, Tokyo Vice, it's about this guy named Jake Edelstein. And he, uh, he's this guy who moved to Japan from Missouri. 
And I don't know, I've never been to Missouri and I don't know anything about Missouri, but I can tell you right now, it sucks. <laughs> it's just like, who the fuck, like, it was, what they got the Missouri River? I don't know, what the fuck is from, like, what is from Missouri? Like, what's there? I don't know, but it sucks. I can just, I can vouch for it by saying that it sucks just because I don't know anything about it. But uh, anyway, Jake Adelstein is this guy. He's a college kid. He finishes college, comes to Japan, and he takes an entrance exam for to join a newspaper. And I don't know if that's like that in America, but uh, that's pretty badass if he took an entrance exam to get into a newspaper. I mean, like, you know, like, even to take a driving test here in Japan, you have to get, like, they give you a 90... Or they give you a hundred question fucking test, right? And uh, and it's like you can only get ninety of those correct. If you get anything, if you get more than ten wrong answers, you fail, and you have to take the test all over again. And I think that kind of explains why Asian drivers and or just Japanese drivers are fucking jackasses in general. It's not because they're bad; it's just they're intentionally bad. You know, they finally get some freedom for themselves, and they're not gonna fucking listen to that fucking instructor telling them what to do. They had to work hard to get that license. Now it's their turn. <laughs> now it's their turn to show them who's boss. And uh, anyway, yeah, I feel for them. I feel for the Japanese chappies. Um, but yeah, anyway, like, uh, I guess in Japan, if you want to work for a newspaper, you got to pass the test. I wonder what's inside that test. Uh, hey, look, that's a nice car. Um, like, what's in the test? Like, uh, <laughs> what do people read that comes in the mail every day? <laughs> that has new writing on it every day. Uh, can I pass? <laughs> I think I'm gonna pass, this one's too tough. Look at this guy in his car, look at him. Look at this guy, he's all old and shit. Family doesn't love him, he's like, I, you know, I know what'll fix my sadness. I'm gonna buy a car that's the color of fucking light gray steel. I don't know why I'm bullying people in nice cars. It's probably because they deserve it, you know? They definitely deserve it, but that lady, she does. She, she deserves something else, you know what I mean? You know, with respect. Yeah, yeah, that should be a thing. I should do that from now on. Go to Ginza and, like, just hit on women who look old. I mean, that's what you got to do first. You know, in basketball, they said they you first you get the job, then you get the khakis. Or, no, you first you get the job, then you get the cash, then you get the khakis, then you get the chicks. And for me, I don't need the cash, but, and I don't need the khakis or the job, but I need to get ripped. I'll get, like, you know, super fucking sexy. And I'll like walk around and I'll just alpha it up and be like, rrr, 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 and I'll, I'll charm him. I'll charm him with my Japanese language like Jake Adelstein did in that movie, in a movie TV show. And then, and then, I don't know, they're doing like a shrine thing in Ginza, that's funny. It's green, asshole, what's the matter? You fall asleep at a wheel? What's going on here? Um, but yeah, anyway, I know it's fun. Go here and get some sugar mamas. Because I respect whammons. Um, but yeah, anyway, like, uh, so Jake Adelstein gets the job. He said in the book that he got the job because, uh, you know, he, uh, one of the guys that interviewed him, he's like, oh, you went to Waseda or Sofia or something, which is like an English speaking university here in Tokyo. And he's like, I went there too. Oh, dude, you're so in. And he's like, wait, what? What about that test that I studied for? Ah, bro, I got you. You're in. You're in. We could do, oh my God, they're doing like a shrine thing here in Ginza. That's so cool and lame at the same time. Um, but anyway, yeah, he's like, don't worry, Jakey boy, I got you. Here, we're gonna go, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna go on this line. This line seems like the cool line to go to. Um, and anyway, yeah, Jake starts working for some newspaper. I forgot what newspaper he's working for, but he's working for some newspaper. And look at that. They got like trees outside and they got trees inside. My buddy Jim and I were talking about this. You know, trees, they don't deserve to be outside. They didn't earn it. You put them inside. <laughs> They're, you know, outside they're going to get all wet and stuff. Nah, man, just put them inside. It's better. Hey, that building says Konami on it. I thought Konami was in a Roppongi or something. How many buildings are of Konami are there? Anyway, point is, as you guys can tell, these are a little bit ADHD, these recordings. Um, yeah, so anyway, Jake Alstein, uh, he starts working for this newspaper. And one thing off the bat that I really didn't like about the show is that I watched it on Unext, which is a Japanese... Uh, language or uh, what is this it? like it's the hbo max for japan right and you know the good thing about netflix is that netflix usually most of the time has a japanese dub of everything 
And so like you want to watch Goodfellas or Casino or whatever in Japanese, they got you. And uh, and and they have and if it's a Japanese TV show or movie, they got subtitles for it. It's so convenient. And so if you're learning Japanese and you're, and you're like learning kanji and everything and to read faster, it's great. But on you next, it's either just like uh, it's a foreign movie that most of the time is just subtitled, uh, or it's a Japanese show and there's no subtitles for it though. And um, holy shit! Look at that guy. Oh, you're in Ginza, dude. You can't go more than two feet. You're so slow. That guy obviously does not have big New York balls. It's okay, Grandpa. Go, Grandma. Grandma, Grandpa, let's go. <laughs> I can, I can go 50 feet before the red light. I'm like, shut up, shut up, you fucking poser, you poser bitch. Uh. But anyway, anyway, yeah, I never spent any time in this area for obvious reasons. I don't know, like, I wonder what the ratio is for people that actually, that work in this area and people that are just like traveling and shopping in this area. Oh, look, it's Shinkansen. I like that train, it's fun, it goes fast. It goes fast, just like my relationships with women. Ah, um, anyway, so, uh, the whole point about fucking Tokyo Vice though, is that it, like it takes place like you know it's supposed to take place in the 90s which is super cool you get to see 90s Japan but also also it's like about like you know uh, this dude who like you know he's running away from his problems he's like I can't be at home my sister has cancer or she tried to kill herself or something and my parents don't give her enough support and she's always sending me stuff and my dad and I got in a fight and I don't want to talk to him anymore. And yeah, he's Obama. And um, and anyway, it's just, it's fucking sad, it's stupid. Uh, yeah, like I guess, uh, one thing that's really cool though is because it's in the 90s, like you know, when his sister wants to talk to him, she sends him, instead of like doing long distance phone calls, she just records a bunch of tapes and then she sends it to him in the mail and then he just listens to them on uh, like on, on a little tape player and it's, it's really nice. I can't tell if my fucking, uh, the, the wheel feels a little bit low, but that can't be, I don't know, maybe it can. I don't remember the last time I filled up the tires here. But uh, anyway, I mean, the whole series is about like, oh, this guy, he like, he's not just in the newspaper. He's not just like working for the newspaper. He works for the part of the newspaper that like is focused on crime and stuff and all that shit. Okay, the wheel looks fine. Um, and so it's like, yeah, he's working on crime, you know? He's uncovering crime, and he, he has to, you know, make friends with the police officers and shit. And anyway, they got this guy who was in the Terraformers movie, uh, and also this movie called uh, Umisaru. Um, that's the only two things I know him from. Oh yeah, he was also uh, this uh, killer teacher in a Takashi Miike movie where he just like steals a shotgun from like a rich co-worker and then like kills all of his students. I forgot that guy was in that movie too. Um, but yeah, he's like a dirty cop. And then there's Ken Watanabe who's just awesome in everything. I just love Ken Watanabe. People gave Ken Watanabe shit because he cheated on his wife. But like he's, he's talked about it before how his wife was just cold to him and didn't fuck him anymore. And she's like, yeah, I'm gonna make your life miserable. And he's like, well, I only get one life and I wanna be happy, so I'm gonna go get a girlfriend. And she, oh, oh, fucking hey, dude, what? You can go straight, can't you? Yes. Was that, was I only in a turning lane? I thought that was going straight or turning. Did I not fucking read the thing right? Oh man, that could have been bad. Ah. Well, like always, I will refer you to my legal counsel, Mr. Kid Showed You Again. Shut up, bitch. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Thank you for your service, Jim. Thank you for your service. Uh, look at this. This is a nice area, too. You got all these benches and stuff. I, I like it. You know, the guy, he's got a nice white, bushy beard, you know. He got one dog. He's looking one way. The other dog's looking the other way. It's nice, you know. It's nice. Why don't you settle down with a good girl? Ma, I settle down with a good girl every night. What are you talking about? Oh, you. Oh, my little Tommy. Oh. Uh, anyway. That's good. We're going for a ride here. It's fun. We're having a good time here, guys. Yeah. I mean, like, that's the that's the reason why I wanted... Are you going to go straight? Are you going to... Oh, I can turn here, too? Oh, nice. It's going to let me turn in this third lane. 
in this third fucking lane here. Uh, hey, it works, right? Okay. But I mean, like, that's the fun thing about, like, these topics, right? Where, like, I'm like, okay, unlike, uh, unlike, like, a fucking, like, because uh, I do two kinds of rants, right? I do one where I'm at home, and I record a, a thing, a narration or something over a B-roll that I took, or... I'm on the motorcycle walking or I'm walking around just normally or whatever, right? And so you get you get both, you know, you get the like at least when I'm at home it feels a little bit more uh focused because I can write down notes and refer to those notes and stuff and it's pretty good. Um you know. So I can refer to those notes and shit, right? But uh and why do I feel like the bike is just lower? It feels like the... feels lower. And I can't tell if that's just me or if the tire is low. Can I make it? I can make it, right? Yes, I can. I got it. I got it in there right before it turned red. There we go. Oh, I love this. This is like my favorite part of the city to ride around on my motorcycle. This is the Emperor's Palace, guys, from the outside. If you're a runner, Oh my God, is it such a great place to run. I, I know that uh, Oriental Pearl told me her and her husband run around here sometimes. I don't know how close they live. I don't know, I bet they have to take a train or something here or whatever, but it's nice, right? Okay, wait, wait. Uh, are they going straight into the fucking... Are they planning on going straight in that fucking building? I don't think you can. They got cops. They got cops to stop you. Oh yeah, look, there's the there's the Ministry of Tourism. As you can see, they have one guard outside. Oh, Ministry of Land and Transportation. Oh, cool. Yeah, I mean, like, this is a fun thing, you know? Like, I never really lived by any government places growing up. And, like, in Tokyo, you can see the fucking, like, the capital, pretty much. Like, I mean, this is the capital, but it's like, look, there's the Diet Building and, you know, uh, like, that's where all the big government, like, you know, like, if you actually follow politics, that's where a lot of those assholes are right now. So like in that built well it's after five so they're probably you know home you know cheating on their wives or something but like you know they they are there though like you know it's cool and like look there's cops everywhere too like there's a cop look at him look at him he hates his life <laughs> he's like why i wanted to be a cop to make a difference and all i am is just a uh like a lowly paid official security guard standing outside here Wham. and i'm like dude i feel you man I feel you so much. And he's like, hey, what are you doing? And I'm like, I feel you, bro. Take off that shirt. He's like, hey, stop it. No, oh, oh. And I'm like, see, you felt it, didn't you? You felt it too, didn't you? This goes to Shibuya and Roppongi. Which one does it hit first, Roppongi or Shibuya? I forgot. If we go to Shibuya, then I can just ride that back to Shinjuku. Dude, if we go to Roppongi, man, I can get a Cinnabon. I haven't been to fucking Cinnabon in like a, I feel like a year, maybe? That's a nice destination. You know, without a destination, you can't score. Well, the destination, I guess, is to... Look at that. That's all fucking... That's not even... That's not even registered parking. People just park their bikes there. Shit. I guess there's so much traffic, they're not going to, like, bring a tow truck or anything to fuck with them. Um, but, yeah, anyway, I don't know. Like, for people who like retro shit, for people who like crime shit, like, when you get older, like, you know, it seems like everything... You kind of get tired of all this shit, right? Like, I'm not a... I'm not a career guy. I'm not a rich stockbroker, like, you know, whatever shit. Um, oh, look, that guy's, that's a diplomat's car. That's a blue license plate. Um, but anyway, I'm not like any of those things, right? But like when you get older, like, you're like, okay, I want to learn more about like the real movers and shakers here. There's only like so many Yakuza dramas you can watch where you're like, yeah, I've kind of seen this story before. I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of Yakuza family out. So, uh, but, you know, like, you get to the point where you're like, okay, I want to learn more about, like, politics or, or, like, organized crime or something. You really want to, like, learn about how the world works. And the world works on the light side, or at least the allegedly in front of everybody's face light side, you know, politics. And then you got the, the dark side that works hand in hand with them, aka, like, you know, CIA dark money, you know, like, working with the mafia kind of shit, kind of shit. And so, uh, like, Tokyo Vice is cool because it kind of, it covers both of those, you know. It covers, um, you know, like, Yakuza used to be a big thing here, you know. And now they, they're still here, but they're very, very below the surface level. Unless you go to, like, a fucking festival in Asakusa or something. You don't really see Yakuza flaunting their shit like they used to, you know. Um, 
there's a lot more hangure. Hangure, which is like uh, like these little unorganized gangs that do crime now for the Yakuza and kind of take the heat off of them. You little son of a bitch. How will you do this to me today at daughter's wedding? Are we in Tame Ike Sando? God, I've parked at this place. I have parked at this fucking place before and I did a rant there. I remember, yeah, Jim used to work here. Jim used to work at one of those buildings. That's why I went here that one time. Yeah, that one place that wouldn't <laughs> that wouldn't pay Jim money. Yeah, fuck that company. They went under. Obviously, they went under. Deservedly, they went under. Like, Jim was an intern, and I guess he got college credit, which is nice, but, uh, but yeah, like, afterwards, they're like, oh, wait, you want us to pay you? Ah, oh, nah, sorry, dude, we can't do that. And Jim's like, well, I need a job. And they're like, yeah, bro, yeah, bro, just be an English teacher or something. Luckily, Jim got a place that uh, re respected him for his gangster, and things worked out, you know. God, I haven't been back to Roppongi in forever. We passed a bagel shop over there that I haven't tried yet that I'd really like to go to, but uh, I just I just had uh, just had some sushi earlier. But I I would like to get uh, I don't know I still have a little bit of a sweet tooth right now. Um, but yeah, fucking Roppongi. I'm like this is kind of like a steady like a, a nice. Oh god. Oh look at that guy. He just oh shit. He just cut out. He just cut in front of like three fucking cars. Look at him, no fucks given. Um, but yeah, I mean, like this is kind of like a, a setting, like, you know, like a adequate setting for this shit because, oh shit, look at this guy. Look at this guy, he's just stopping in the middle of the road. He didn't even bother to pull over. Entitled rich asshole. Wow. Yeah, uh, one of you guys in the live stream asked me like, hey, Papa Tikio, why don't you like, um, you know, like, do you ever go to Roppongi? And I'm like, no. Why? Because it's filled with people like that. The dude in his car, he didn't even bother to pull over. He's just like, nope. I'm in the middle of the street now. This is my street. I call dibs. Entitled rich asshole. So you could tell he spends his dad's money really well. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of fitting that we're here in Roppongi because all the people that worked on that video or worked on that TV series, they probably live in an area like this, you know? And, uh... And like, yeah, I was trying to talk about the subtitles earlier. Like the frustrating thing about Tokyo Vice is that the, the Japanese is understandable. You know, I can understand most of it, but it's just like uh, the foreigners when they spoke English were very hard to understand. And look at this, wow. I am staring, I am leering at you. Look at that, she's wearing a sports bra and tight yoga pants. Ew. You know, what is it? Schwing. <laughs> Schwing, right spaghetti, you get it. Yeah, he gets it too. He gets boners over human females. Yeah, there you go. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's just, it's fitting because all the people that probably worked on that, you know, they're trying to represent like the everyday working man or something in Japan. Meanwhile, they're actually like rich elite people who got jobs like thanks to nepotism and shit. I mean, I'm not saying that some of them aren't talented, but like uh, the, the foreigners that they got to work on this show, their accents are so fucking bad and like, dude, like, I don't want to be a hater. Like, I'm so happy when I see people trying to learn Japanese in general, but it's like, I'm really angry that they didn't let me have subtitles for, for the fucking TV show, because I didn't understand anything the fucking foreigners said. And you know, the, the sumimasen, you know? Chotomachikusai. Chotomachikusai. And I'm like, dude, like, it, like, they were trying to put their own spin on this. Like, the guy's like, oh, fuck. Fuck, I, yeah, I definitely have a flat tire or something, because my... My bike is all wobbly and waving right now. I definitely got a flat or something. Ah, oh, fuck. It's definitely low or whatever. Fuck. I'm feeling it. I think there is a gas station on the way over here, though. Fuck. God damn it. Well, hopefully, I mean, these are fairly new tires. Hopefully it's not like a pop or anything. Hopefully it's just that they're low and I need to fill them up. I wonder if somebody stabbed my tire. Like, did they slash it or something? Wait, anyway, let's go get a, let's go get a, a Cinnabon. Let's look at the bike.
Yeah, let's go park in front of the ice cream thing. Anyways, welcome back everybody. I got my Cinnabon here ready to go. I'm gonna just take it home and put it in the fridge. I don't, <laughs> it's like one of those things where it's like, oh man, like, Rapongi, I'm always so self-conscious when I'm here just cause I'm like, I'm not rich. I don't come from an affluent background. I didn't go to an Ivy school and I'm not gonna work at Shake Shack. <laughs> so it's like, you know, the options are limited here. But yeah, anyway, I'm having a good time. Hey, take it easy. Yeah. Okay. And like, yeah, we meet random, random subscribers. This guy, like, he was like, dude, I watch you and Dave Troopin. And I was like, dude, holy shit. Like, I have a son that not only works, but he lives in Roppongi. So he's like, you know, like rich tech bro kind of thing. And like, that's a viewer of mine. Like, uh, I think the, the thing is too, it's like, Abroad in Japan's always like, oh, you know, I get approached sometimes and I'm just, I was eating and people would ask for a selfie and I'm just so sick of it and I just, me, <laughs> me. I'm like, oh my God, is he all right? It's foaming out of the mouth. Okay, I checked the tires. I checked the tire and the tire's fine. So it might, I don't know. I don't know what the fucking issue might be with the bike, but it's definitely not the tires. The tires are all, they've got air in them. And even though it's got a lot of weight from me, it should still be fine. So I don't know, it might be the suspension or something. I don't know. But um, but anyway, we'll, we'll do good. I think uh, before I go to work tomorrow, maybe I'll check that out. But that's, that was weird. It felt like um, I had a dream that like my wheel came off the axle or the suspension. And it feels like the wheel's getting a little loose. And I don't know. I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to mean. Is life imitating dreams now? Falafel Brothers, what? Um, anyway, yeah, we're in Roppongi now. We're doing the Roppongi thing. And now we're gonna go home. And, uh, but anyway, I don't know. I'm just saying, like, if you guys ever see me in person, like, uh, feel free to say hi, you know? Like, I, I don't mind. Like, I, I'm not gonna have a big ego about it. I'm not gonna be like, suck my dick. I'm, I fuck white chicks. Do you fuck white chicks? No, I fuck, I'm in Asia, I fuck Asian chicks. Yeah, well, I, I like to fuck and marry white chicks. And it's like, I don't really see how that's like a personality defect or something. I'm like, well, well, screw you, Hamilton. Um, Mezzo, see that place is new. I don't even know that place. Look at all these fucking taxis everywhere. Um, I've been in that karaoke place before. I met one of my first girlfriends on a date going there. Um, yeah, but anyway, I guess the tire's fine. It didn't feel like super low or anything, but... And I just filled it up like a couple weeks ago. It just feels like it's kind of bumpy or something. Um, but yeah, anyway, that was uh, that was fun. Getting to like uh, be recognized by a fan and stuff. And that was really nice. That was cool. And um, yeah, look at all these guys just like walking on the fucking walking thing like they own the place, but they don't. They don't own it, because we're cars. But yeah, that was really nice. You know, that was fun. He's like, oh, you TKO Sam. And I'm like, what's up, dude? And yeah, <laughs> for all of you guys who come, like again, if you see me, come say hi. Like again, like I don't know if I'll go out. I mean, I'm so happy when I see you guys being like, dad, dad, I'm coming to Japan. Let's hang out, I owe you a beer. And I'm like, look, look, if you fucking find me in the wild and you approach me and you're like, let's have a beer. Um, I might not have a beer with you right then, but the, if you reach out, if you go on Instagram like afterwards and you're like, because usually whenever I meet up with you guys, like if I see you randomly, uh, everyone always asks for a selfie because I'm just so famous. But also, I mean like whatever, like I want to, if I saw somebody I knew from YouTube, I want to get a selfie of them. I mean, that's the great thing about Tokyo. It kind of kills the illusion. Like I'm not a celebrity or if I am a celebrity, I'm not getting paid like one, God damn it. But, uh, you know, it's like, it, uh, what is it? Like, I don't mind getting a, giving a selfie and saying hi to you guys. But if you live in Japan and you like ran into me, then like, fuck yeah, like hit me up on Instagram later. And like, if you're in Tokyo and you're, especially if you're in Shinjuku or Kabukicho, look at this guy, this guy's just riding my ass. What's the matter with you? What, you getting paid? What are you, man, hourly? <laughs> hourly, yeah, hourly? What are you, man, hourly? Look at this guy too, what are you doing? You're, okay, go, go. Go, go, go ninja, go ninja, go. You're fucking from Saitama, dude. Come on, move faster. 
I'm from Saita. Oh, look, the, oh, the parking Nazis are there giving everyone tickets. God damn it. That's why they work in pairs. It's like Mormons, you know. Why are you do I was here first. I, Obama. Okay, um. But yeah, anyway, come say hi to me. It's fun. We can talk about Tokyo Vice. And uh, that guy, by the way, if you're watching this video, uh, Mr. God, I forgot his name already. Sorry. Uh, I got a selfie of you, though. Uh, your girlfriend, even though she was wearing a mask and glasses, I could tell she was very cute and adorable. So you did good, son. You did good. I love being a wingman, too. Like, if I see a guy with a chick and, like, she's like, oh, no, but we're not a couple. We're, we're not a couple. Then it's like she either friend zoned this guy or she's just trying to save face and being like, oh, I don't, I'm not dating this guy, so I'm obviously not fucking him. But, um, you know, I'll wingman for people. I'll be like, what? This guy is so hot. Why aren't you trying to get with him? You must be crazy to not be with this man. This man, because like the thing is, is like, you want to say this shit, right? But you can't, and I should have taken that. I should have gone up that way. It's a fucking rush hour. It'd take me forever to get to Shinjuku at this point, but it's okay though. It's okay, because we have one thing that they don't. Cinnabon. Yeah, we got it right on the back of my bike. We got Cinnabon, and that makes us almost as good as everybody. Almost, or better. Almost, if not better than most people, you know? And that's all that matters, you know? Um, but yeah, I don't know, this whole area, it's just, it always makes me so uncomfortable because I don't have money. And it's like, well, Dad, it's not the money in your wallet. It's the money on the inside of your heart. And I remember, guys, that is that is true, you know? Like, if you had the choice between having $10 million or you die tomorrow, you probably, or no, you could have, um, you have $10 million and you die tomorrow, or you don't have $10 million and you stay alive tomorrow, yeah, you're obviously going to pick staying alive. But at the same time, that doesn't mean I shouldn't try to solely try to date women who come from affluent backgrounds and teach them what it's like to live with heart and dignity and honor while also just mooching off her dad because uh, her other sister's a fucking drug addict and uh you know and like you know she they they want an heir you know they don't care that is american does he is he white does he look white okay that's good it's good it works yeah yeah, yeah yeah you marry that guy okay marry that guy and, uh, yeah, he's not in the will, but the kids and you are covered, and I guess the apartment I'll pay for it, and I guess he can live there. Thanks, father-in-law, who is rich. Yeah. <laughs> I realized that I did not talk about Tokyo Vice at all in this. I wanted to bring up, like, I didn't like some characters. Like, I hated how I love it when I see characters named Sam. Like, I don't know why. There's, like, there's been a boom recently of just, like, a lot of people named Sam. I see, I hear that name more often when I'm... You know, if I'm in like an area of foreigners, like on TV, I see uh, or I hear a bunch of shit, you know. I just heard a flappy thing. Is that okay? Mr. Campbell, are you okay? Okay, yep, yeah, no. The Cinnabon is fine, guys. Don't worry. I just checked everyone. I know you're freaking out. I know you're freaking out. You're like, Dad, how is the Cinnabon in the back of the bike? Guys, trust me. It's okay. It's going to be okay, guys. Just need everybody at the same time to take off your pants. I'll explain everything later. But right now, I just need you to take off your pants and talk about Tokyo Vice. Yeah, I didn't like it how they have this woman who's like, she's an ex-Mormon. And she just got so sick and tired of being a Mormon that she left and she stole $40,000. And like, I, and that's the kind of a spoiler. But I mean, like, you kind of saw that coming, guys. I mean, that's not really a big spoiler. But it's like, it's like, why is she afraid? Why is she on the run? It's like, she's like, I needed money to start up. And I'm like... You fucking live in a... You work at a Kabakura. You could easily make that kind of money, especially in the 90s. Like, I needed that money. And I'm like, no, you're just a fucking bitch. <laughs> you're just a bitch. And like, they make, like, there's no redeeming quality for this woman. She's like, I'm helping my friend who's obviously a stupid fucking bitch. <laughs> hey, Jim. Jim, oh, shut up, bitch. Um, uh, like, she has this friend that is super unreliable, horrible with money, and just like one of those emotional vampires and she's like, I need to take care of her. And I'm like, you are literally a, a mega cunt to everybody else. Even the people that are nice to you, you're so mean. But this woman, she obviously uses you and she's, uh, she, and, uh, like this one woman, she like disappears or whatever, right? They're like, oh God. And I guess in Tokyo Vice, like in the real book or something, uh, Jake Adelstein, he was friends with a lot of female hosts and that they, uh, 
and they fucking, you know, like, what is it? And they uh, did the thing, too, or whatever. Like, you know, like, I guess one of the hosts that he knew, or hostesses that he knew, like, went just, she disappeared as well or some shit. And it's like, okay. Okay, that's, that's fucked. That sucks. But, uh, okay, so what else? And it's just like, oh, well, you know. And, and then, like, uh, I don't know, man. I just, I really hated that character. Like, but, I mean, then again, like, that might mean that she's a really good actress, though, right? Because she's, like... Like, she made, she played a character that I fucking hate so much, you know? Like, she convinced me. Um, but also, it's just the characters, like, had no redeeming qualities. Maybe they did that on purpose. I don't know. Like, I remember each of the killer, there's a scene where, like, this guy is just beating the shit out of his uh, prostitute girlfriend. And uh, at first, the scene wasn't going to be super violent. But uh, Takashi Miike was like, I just don't like this woman, you know? He's like, uh, he's like, I don't like this chick. Um... And I don't want her to be in my, uh, he's like, uh, she's being a bitch, so I'm going to make sure, like, uh, for her scene that she just gets her ass beat, you know? And I'm like, yeah, that's the way to do it. Um. Eh. Um. But yeah, anyway, that was, that was pretty funny. Um. But yeah, maybe that's the case. Maybe the guy who, like, hired her, they had to do, like, a Nepo hire. And he's just like, ah, well, I'm gonna make this character so bad that everyone hates her. She's gonna, I'm gonna Joffrey her up. <laughs> She's gonna be Joffreyed. <laughs> but uh, Ken Watanabe's character too, he's like a cop that's like, that's kind of nice. That's got a, got a soft spot, soft spot for him. And Jake goes out to his house and he brings him like ice cream for his kids and stuff or whatever. And like, yeah, they say that in Japanese a lot, you know, sashi irimasu. Sashi irimasu, which is like, you know, I, I brought some, like, you know, ice or sashi irimasu. Uh, sashi, uh, no, ice sashi iri o kana to imaimaishite to omotte ta na. And uh, anyway, it's like, uh, yeah, it's like basically whenever you, I don't know, guys, I think a good rule of thumb, maybe not when you're young with other friends that are young, but when you're going to visit another person, you bring them something, you bring them a gift. And, uh, you know, some of you might not agree with that. But as a rule of thumb, uh, like, especially now that I'm older, like, if I go to a friend's house, I'm bringing him a gift, too, you know? Like, if I go to Jim's place, I'll bring him a beer, you know? If I go to my, uh, my Aussie friend's house, I'll bring him a boomerang or, you know, I don't know. I don't know about boomerang, but you know what I mean. Like, I'll bring, he likes, his wife likes tea, so I'll bring her some tea or something. You know, it's just one of those things where it's like, you're nice, you know? It's like, I don't want to spend $3 on somebody I like. They should just be happy that I showed up or anything. And I'm like, dude, I probably make less money than you and I have no problem with this. You're this bitch, you know? Um, and so, yeah, you know, you gotta, you, you gotta take the good to the bad here, you know? And, um, and yeah, and it's just like, uh, but yeah, anyway, and like, so like his character, the Mr. Jake Alstein character, he goes and he brings ice cream to this guy and he's like, hey, can you tell me about the things about all these Yakuza that I'm, trying to learn about and report on and the guy's like okay yeah sure we can do that and he's like oh really cool and he's like yeah bro i got you and uh okay i can't remember if we turn right here i think we turn right here if we because if we keep going this way we're just gonna go south even more and i want to go i want to go towards harajuks i think because what if Shibuya, yeah, that's Shibuya Police Station. And we don't want to go that way. If you go that way, you can get the pizza slice, which is pretty badass. But we want to go put Harajuku and Shinjuku, which is this way. Yeah, Shinjuku, Igebukuro, Kaita Adijang. Um, and there's like one scene in Tokyo Vice where they're like, they have to do meth with this guy who knows, who's like a Yakuza reporter. He's like a tabloid reporter. And like the guy's like, hey man, you, like, you know, I'll, I'll give you the inside scoop, but you gotta get me some meth. And then, like, of course, the Kabakura chick, she's like, oh, I can get meth, because I'm a dirty whore who works at Kabakura. And, uh, and then, like, there's, like, a private investigator, like, hired by the Mormon church to find her to repay the money. And then she asks her Yakuza boyfriend to be like, can you just, he's bothering me. And then the Yakuza guy kills him, and she's like, I can't believe you did that. And he's like, what did you think was gonna happen? And I'm just like, why did they make such a shitty fucking character? This is 2024, you got better writing than this. Yeah, come on, buddy. Why is everyone going so slow? They're slower than me. Uh, 
It's giving oral fixations. I don't know. Yeah, see, this is the road. I knew it. God, I always get lost in Shibuya, but I actually found the right road. God, in Shibuya Station, you get out that way now? Okay. Got so many bumpy roads here. This is Shibuya. What is this? Africa? Come on. God. Or maybe my suspension's just fucked. But I, I just I just updated my suspension like a year ago. Come on, dude. Spaghetti, Mr. Spaghetti Kimball, are you alright? Boys have a spaghetti. Girls have a car? I don't know. Something. Yeah. It's funny because it's true. Oh, man. How dare you say that? I don't know. The moment America went to shit was the moment you started listening or letting people like that influence the way that you, like, just giving them, like, oh, yeah, you know, let them talk. No. 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 We put them in the corner. Yeah. God, even Tokyo did that, too. Like, uh, it's a slippery slope. I'm telling you, man, you know. Like, Tokyo did the thing now where it's like, up until now, if you got the surgery, you could, like, legally change your sex to uh, whatever sex you're doing because, like, your body parts match that thing, right? And now they did a thing recently, today, where they were like, oh, you don't even need to get the surgery anymore. And, like, all the top comments were like, well, what about the bathhouses? Say goodbye to the bathhouses. If you make bathhouses allow non-transgender people or, like, trans uh, like, a bald guy who's like, I identify as women. And you can't do anything about it. And then the and then every all the normal people are gonna be like, oh, I don't want to go to the bathhouse anymore. I don't want some 50 year old guy looking at my fucking <laughs> looking at my uh, looking at my my teenage daughter in the fucking bathhouse, you know? Then yeah, like uh, and then all these bathhouses. You know what? You want to get rid of bathhouses? That's what you do. That's how you do it. Um, well, whatever, whatever. You know, you do what you gotta do, I guess. But <laughs> yeah, how did that come up in this fucking topic? Um, point is, Tokyo Vice, am I right? Look at this guy in his fucking scooter. I mean, to be fair, he is following the rules by riding in the middle of the, uh, like, in the road versus on the sidewalk. Uh, but still, it doesn't mean that it don't piss me off. You inconvenience the sidewalk people, not me. Motherfucker. Come on, come on. Why you no go face? I want you to think about a man. A man who goes fast, because you're going slow. Look at you, this is what you get for having a chunky boy car, you Mercedes piece of shit. He's like, I'll buy this so my I can forget about my father not loving me. And I'm like, well, you're still like stuck behind. And look at that, he's, he's flashing, he's gonna stop, gonna pull over. Oh look, he actually pulled over. Unlike that piece of shit in Rapongi, he's like, this is my road now. This is mine. I don't wanna, my car might get dirty if I pull it over to the side. The sidewalk, that's where the poor people walk. Ugh. God, Pop Mart. They have a Pop Mart, but they don't have a Pop Tart. Uh, dude, this guy on Twitter today, uh, Wild Llama, he posted. There's this. There's this. Uh, <laughs> there's this new donut place called I'm Donut question mark. And like, I loved his caption. He's like, Japan. They're willing to ask the important questions, but they're not willing to answer them, and or something. And I was like, I just. It was so beautiful. It was such a good. He just set up that joke so well. I love that. That was so good. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 jokes. This is beautiful. Um, but anyway, yeah. Uh, what else? What else? Um, but yeah, Tokyo Vice, I mean, like, it was really well, well, like, shot, though. Ah, oh, don't do it. Don't do it, Obama. Why does he keep saying Obama? I don't know. I just, uh, you know, Obama, you know. He, sh he said he was going to fix stuff. He's not the president anymore. Biden, Biden will never be my president. God, I'm going to be so disappointed if Biden is still... I mean, how? There's no way. Like, even Democrats hate Biden right now. And it's not like a, oh, well. No, it's like they, they're so... Oh, God. Like, I don't... You know, there's not 100% things I agree on on Trump, but he's definitely... I mean, like, they were like, oh, I don't like Trump, but at least, you know, Biden's better than him. And I'm like, eh. Yeah. Mm, come on. Can we go into neutral a little bit? Come on, sweetie. Just go into neutral just, just a little bit. It's going to neutral just a little bit. Just a little bit. Mmm. Okay, spaghetti. I get it. You want to play rough. You want to play hardball now, don't you? I realize I didn't close my helmet. I did not close it. Anyway, Tokyo Vice. It's cool. I heard that some of the actors, though, they did live in Tokyo while they were filming it, though. And they had, like, a lot of 
trouble filming it actually in Japan. Like for one shot, I heard this on the Abroad in Japan a podcast. I skim through it sometimes when he talks about topics I'm interested in. But he's like, yeah, I heard, uh, I heard that in the Tokyo Voice that they had to ask over 300 places to film to get one shot. And that is why I'm very hesitant about if I ever make a film in Japan uh, or ever make a film, I probably won't film it in Japan just for how much of a how much of a something something trouble it might be. And I'm like, yeah, I guess so. I kind of see your point. But uh, I mean, that's the thing. Like, you know, if you're going to film a movie in Japan, you got to do a gorilla style like Sofia Coppola did. You know, you, you hire a fall guy, you give him like a whatever amount of money fall guys need or whatever, and they'll just take all the blame. And meanwhile, you make a cool movie, you know? And it's like, no, but I want to get a scene right and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever, dude. You know, God, not everything has to be perfect, but I get you. Um, but yeah, anyway, I don't know. Token Vice, like the acting, especially from the Japanese actors, like I like it how they got that one chick that was famous for being in Babel or Babel all those years ago. She's like one of the main characters and she's like Korean and her she lives with her like mentally retarded brother who like abuses her and I'm like fucking throw that retard in some facility and or the fire like what are you doing she's my brother he's just going through things nah fuck that I have any brother or sister that does that to me the first thing they're going is to jail or to I don't know some facility where they're just gonna they're gonna take care of them definitely not gonna beat them with batons ah, it's like life's too short dude I couldn't Nah, and like I don't like that. Like her character's like I'm super strong, but I have to put up with this person being a total piece of shit. And I'm like, God damn it, lady! Like, don't, don't, don't do it, don't do it. Um, but you know, what are you gonna do, right? I mean, what are you gonna do? That shit, shit like that's always gonna happen, right? But yeah, anyway, uh, I don't know. This is a fun talk, though. Fun Tokyo Vice talk. Uh, you know, did you guys watch it? I don't know, how long have we been filming? I don't even know how long we've been filming, but I know the battery was already low when I started this. So probably at the next stoplight, I should probably turn this off or something. But yeah, guys, thanks always so much for watching these. I have a really good time watching them. If I still need to, like, if there's not enough time here, I'll just, like, continue talking uh, at home. I'll, I'll continue the recording. Uh, at home or whatever to make it the full hour. I like having these be at least a full hour, you know? Like, uh, it, it makes me sad. Guelo60 said the other day that he's like, I think I'm gonna quit the YouTube and, and Guelo60 quit YouTube. And that's just so sad because I, I love watching that guy. He's so fucking, he's just so positive and happy. And But yeah, I mean, like, he's like, oh, I'm in the Philippines. And I'm like, I do not give two shits. I mean, I'm sorry, Filipino people. I love you, but you know, it's just like, uh, I don't give two shits about the Philippines. I, you know, I, I like seeing the background of China. I love hearing him talk about China, but like, yeah, Guelo60, he's just, he's this YouTuber. His wife died, he's sad, he's only wants companionship. And he went to the Philippines, looks like he got a new girlfriend after like two or three weeks there. And you now Filipino women in those circumstances, they want to take care of their men, you know? And he's got a lot of money uh, compared to what, well, I mean, what she would think, and so, you know, like, as long as he's happy, that's fine. But he said he was going to quit YouTube. And I'm like, that's just sad. Because I, I like watching him a lot, you know. And, but, hey, as long as he's happy, right? But, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See ya.